Hey, it's Ken Gagney with YouTube channel Game Bits here to play Stella on the Nintendo Switch from Skybox Labs. This is my ninth video in the series, and I am nearing the end. I don't think this is the last chapter. This there may be a tenth video, but can't promise anything. Because the game continues to take me in unexpected directions. And there's a lack of overt narrative to let me know if I am nearing the end. So I'm just going to keep journeying along. See what comes of it. Let's throw this switch. Now, I could go that way, but I want to see what just lit up. It's kind of like Wizard of Oz, just follow the white line road. Oh. 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 So these are optional, and they give you access to galleries from the main menu, so you can learn more about the world and the enemies in it. I think that might be the fourth one I've found. Maybe third. But there have been many more that I've missed, so this is not a perfect Let's Play, which you know if you've been watching up until this point. Alright. This is a big room. I'm going to be very exposed. Oh, are these the little people with the blue torches that saved my life? And what are those things? I'm just gonna run between you and ignore you? Are you actually alive? They are moving. As I walk past them, they bow down. So are they worshipping me? Oh! Okay, don't touch that. It obliterates you. Do I want to stay on this, though? I feel like I'm going to get crushed. Nope. That was my own lack of perspective. Okay, I can go either way here. Each of these things has a sign in front of it. I don't know if I need to... Oh, it's another puzzle. I need to rotate these three pieces. Okay. I'm just seeing what all the different options are. So I think that is correct. However, if the whole puzzle needs to be oriented in a certain direction, then I'm not going to have much luck with that. No, nope. I want to put that back right the way it was. I think it's the outer piece that needs to be moved. What's it all going to look like when it's done? Is that not correct? No, I guess it isn't. Wait, should there be a fourth layer that I can move? Oh, there's a fourth layer I can't move. So that guarantees the overall orientation of everything. There we go. Ah. Oh. I'm slow, but I get there. No, I'm actually not slow. I, th I think I'm doing pretty well. Let's see. I think that should do it. Yep. And one more. Then probably something will obliterate me. Oh. Should there is there gonna be another one of these pillars? <gasps> I feel like I saw this in a trailer for this game. Oh! I don't even need to jump. Okay. Am I racing here? Do I need to get to the top before those things do? I don't know. Could I even go backward if I wanted to? Or is this a one-way trip? There aren't many stairs left. Oh gosh, the other stairs disappeared. 
I am right in their line of vision. Is that an orb or is it the roof? Okay. Have I been digitized? I can go either direction here. Oh. You must take the leap of faith. There is no Y in Hebrew. Do I not want to get sanitized by the pyramid? Does that do anything for me? <gasps> no! Oh, see, how could I have known that was there? I didn't. A whole new pillar. Sounds like a song from Aladdin. Oh gosh, another sanitizer. Ah! Just a hunch that I didn't want it to come back and get me. Is it going to do this all day? Is it eventually going to stop? It's not seeming like it. So I guess I am going to get sanitized. Whoa! Okay, this was not intuitive, so I actually, again, had to look up another Let's Player to figure out how they did it. And here's the thing. They can only scan you if you are touching the bridge. You can jump right through it. Does that make sense? No. But there you have it. A letter opener. Oh. Okay. Hey. I wanted to get on that thing. Why did it go away? What? Okay, so that thing can see me when I'm jumping? So strange. doesn't do me any good. Oh, no, 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 no. Moved a little bit too far there. Oh. I find this game to have issues with, with what is and is not intuitive. And this level in particular seems to be exacerbating that. But in this case, I think if I stand on the circle, then just before the laser comes to hit me, I will get lifted out of the way. Yep. Ha! I'm on your head. Alright, well here we go again. Oh gosh. It's just like in Mega Man 2. Ah! I did not expect Stella to take its cues from Mega Man. Ah! Oh, I made it. No, didn't make it. Okay, I got this now. Now where? Oh! Huh, it's almost like- Oh, no, no, no! Ah! Oh, teleportal! I, was, I saw this in the background, I was wondering how I was going to get all the way over there. Now I know. Whoa! Oh! Jeez. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay. Maybe I'm going about this wrong. Let's try something a little different.
let's hang out over here. Maybe I won't get scanned to death. There we go. That's what I need to do. Get on this guy. <sighs> See, the game with those steps, I didn't have to go up them at all. But the fact that they were there implied to me that I did need to. So that was a little misleading in my opinion. Oh. No, I... Okay. I want to stay on this thing and go this way. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. What is this? Okay. Oh, nope. Shucks. Okay, it sends me all the way back here. This reminds me of the last level of Battletoads. The old 8-bit Nintendo. Classic Trade West game. And that tower, oh my gosh, that was so hard. I did actually beat that game once. Once. Oh, that was a good jump. Okay. Ah! Oh, gosh, okay. I live in constant fear that these ledges are going to disappear at any moment. It's going to keep me up tonight, I tell you. I have really good jumping all of a sudden. Like, I wasn't always able to jump this high, but now I can. Huh? Those are my only options? Oh, I need to fall back down again. Ah, oh, bugger. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Oh! Teleportal! Yay! I'm definitely nowhere I've been before. This place is a little loopy. I mean, it looks like the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. Except for these buildings. I don't know. These sheer columns seem to serve no purpose. Now what does green do? It goes up. Okay. So it's like a shortcut? That's handy. Come on. That was a hard one to push. Okay. Man, look at how high I can jump. This is amazing. Oh! Wow! Wait, I don't understand. Where do I want to go now? Huh, I guess I need to go down here? I'm just going to keep rotating reality until I find the one I like. How about that? It's like evil Legos. Okay. So I'm going to want to get on that green one, because it will bring me up to the next switch. Lever? Lever switch? I never know how high it'll take me, so I'd want to jump off as soon as I could. Because there isn't a single part of this that I want to do again. <laughs> Let me be clear. Okay, so there has to be some sort of an upside down twist again here. Hmm. 
Not immediately. Oh, there are a couple of switches now. Which one do I want to pull? Well, clearly I want to pull that one. And then this one. But what if I had pulled just one of them? Where would that have brought me? I feel like there's a lot of time I could waste here going up and down and looking at everything. Okay, there's the teleportal. It is right side up. And I bet I can make that jump if I get to the top here first. Jump! Wow! And I didn't even fall to my knees. I also don't think I'm wearing my white shift anymore. I seem like a... No, I'm still the same person. Just from far away and against that background color, I couldn't tell. I thought maybe I had morphed into some sort of a, I don't know, binary creature. Yes, 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 yes. I can't even tell what direction I'm running. Is this, is this thing arcing? Curving? It must be. Oh, no! Ah, platforming. It's harder when you can jump farther than you expect. Now, are these things falling after I leave them, or would they have fallen at a certain time anyway? Great, I'm standing on iPod Touch. Actually, no, it's an old school iPod. And it's got speakers! Oh god, don't crush me. It was going to crush me. What a jerk. I hope it doesn't all disappear when it forms a perfect line. Okay. This, this is like a mode on Tetris Party for the Wii. Just what is it I'm assembling here? Like a master boombox? Okay. No! Okay. Why would the one that I was standing on be the one that rotates? So I want to avoid the ones that light up. Huh. It's like a giant Rubik's Cube. And I'm the Rube. I'm not even sure that's how blocks rotate. This is highly abstract. I don't know. What do you what do you think, viewers? Oh no. I should probably move yep off the one I'm on. Because if it was safe, that means it's not going to be. Somebody is definitely playing Tetris with me. What is going on here? And I'm headed right for that wall. This is going to collide and it's going to hurt. And it's also getting harder to see these things as they're falling. Oh no. It wasn't that big a moment ago. I wasn't that small. I 
to see myself anymore. Could I accidentally walk off and die? There's no little running woman icon to indicate a new level is loaded. This must be the end. I'm in Stonehenge. Great. Or maybe this is where people store their nuclear waste and those are all the rods. Which is also great. Oh, now I'm walking. I think those indicate the uh, hidden areas I found. Only four of them. Okay, I am no longer in control. I am moving forward regardless of what I want to do. I mean, I saw 2001 A Space Odyssey, but... What? 